The envelope that they send to Georgetown students when they get in is, is mean. It's, it's mean. Um, it's really thin and like the conventional wisdom is that like if you get a small envelope you didn't get into the school. I think that the people who do admissions know that. <laughs> the envelope, so it's a small envelope and every, every Hoya knows this. I don't know why Georgetown does this to us. What's that? A little envelope. It always is. The envelope is notoriously small. So it's like a little thing. I mean, it's, it looks just like a normal letter. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was tiny. I, I had dozens of other schools that sent thick packets, you know, full of all this information, and the Joseon one was just a very slim, it looked like a bill. The envelope is the thinnest, lightest envelope ever. This tiny little white envelope, it's unmarked. It has one of those windows so that you can read that it's from Georgetown, and that's it. Plain, very small, white envelope completely unassuming. So <laughs> I was thinking, what, you know, what is this? You know, you hear the story, like it comes in the, the small the envelope and everybody's like, oh, you know, they throw it somewhere and like, oh, I don't even want to open it anymore. And you don't think that it's going to hold an acceptance because there's obviously no information. So when you, when you feel the weight of the envelope, you're sure it's a rejection. <laughs> Every other welcome letter says congratulations or like you're accepted. Georgetown's is just an envelope. And I cried <laughs> because I assumed that I didn't get in. You're, you open it like super begrudgingly. You're like, I don't, this is gonna be bad. And you open it and then it's just like, you got in. And then you're like, oh, like that's amazing. And, and the feeling of like just sheer elation is, is incredible. Georgetown admissions, why do you do this to us? Um, but no, we love you for it though.